Yo, how do cruise ships like this actually make money? Well, let's say you take a seven day cruise. Now your options are Carnival, Royal Caribbean, and Norwegian, because these three mm. control nearly the whole market. <laughs> now you pick Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas, which is huge, like five times bigger than the Titanic, which means huge fixed costs from fuel to food to marketing, plus the 2000 crew members. But luckily there's no minimum wage in the ocean, so you can pay them like two bucks an hour. But regardless, these fixed costs means you just wanna fill the ship, which in this case, is 7,000 passengers. So let's say on average you spend $1,000 on your ticket, but the cruise has $1,400 of fixed costs. So cruises lose money? No. Remember, they got you trapped. So you're gonna drop another $700 on booze, gambling, and excursion, meaning they end up making like 300 bucks off you or 2 million bucks a trip. Oh, and no taxes, because they just pretend to be from poor countries.